Hey, what up? Welcome to the video. Uh, so today there was, there's like several different things that I've been thinking about talking about. Um, I'm sure they'll all get their video made at, at some point. Might be tomorrow, might be next week, who knows. Uh, but today, and then kind of like talk about the direction of art and magic the gathering. So, <clears throat> For me, I started playing around original Innistrad, um, so whenever I started playing then, uh, there was obviously, uh, like, Liliana of the Veil, and, uh, some of the, like, vampires, what, uh, there's, oh gosh, I can see their art in my head, there, there's one that's something like Crossroads something or other that's really spicy, and then there's, um, some kind of like sacrifice a creature to put one one counters on this that has spicy art but basically the uh the moral of the story is whenever i started playing around innistrad there were still women that were allowed to look attractive in magic the gathering but um as time kind of pushed on there were a bunch of uh sjw's that kind of like strong armed their way into positions of influence at wizards of the coast and you eventually got to this point where uh where the art and magic cards you just like you wouldn't see attractive women oh i'm not bright um you just wouldn't really see attractive women which is uh obviously you know, it's, it's obviously not a good thing. And you look at a card game like Force of Will, for example, uh, in a card game like that, you know, there's tons of spicy art for everybody in that game. And, like, it's part of what people really like. You know, it's it's part of, it's honestly, it's part of what people originally liked about Magic the Gathering, too. You know, uh, Earthbind from Quentin Hoover. Um, dark, uh, un unholy strength. Um trying to think of some other example, Sarah Angel, like, all of these cards had very, uh, very just, like, evocative, attractive art, and that was something that people liked about the game, you know, you can try to pretend and deny and SJW your way out of it all you want, but at the end of the day, there's a reason why actors are attractive people, that's what you, that's what you just, like, that's what human nature is to want to look at, so, um, Oko came out, and <laughs> everybody had a field day because Oko is essentially like this looks like a force of will card is just like this, you know, mostly naked dude. And everybody's just like, oh, OK, you know, we can't have, you know, attractive women are, you know, not allowed and attractive women are bad. And you're an awful person for thinking attractive women exist. But, you know, we can have, you know, we can have an Oko. And then so so that that whole that whole fun journey kind of died down, and then you got um, in Theros several uh, like Hactos, um, the uh, the Dryad of Illicent Grove, that's the one right. 99% sure that's the one, but, you know, you, you kept seeing these, like, you know, very attractive men, which, you know, again, all four, you know, very happy with that, but they, they still kind of kept this perspective where they were like, oh, we can't have attractive women, only attractive men, which to me, honestly, feels, a, like, way, way more sexist than, like, just having, having, like, attractive looking women. It could just be me, you know, maybe I'm just crazy, but it definitely seems like saying women can't be attractive is sexist, right? Like, I'm, I'm not crazy here. So, anyway, uh, moving forward, um, I'm going to put a couple of images uh, up on the screen, maybe, it depends on how motivated and feeling during editing but we have this card from uh core 2021 and it looks uh, it's a similar kind of art style to the dryad of, uh, dryad of illison grove except it's actually a woman and geniusly on wizards of the coast part whoever commissioned this art it's clearly uh, supposed to be a black woman um and so that way if someone tries to criticize it you can just gaslight them and say it's because she's black so yeah, bravo great way to get you know spicy art into the game but it's not, you know, it's not just about, um, it's not just about skin or anything, like, not skin color, but, like, showing skin. It's about their, it's, it's just about, like, 
let me put this on here first. It's about like, it just, it, it feels like they don't want women to look like women. You know, you have all of these, uh, it was super, super obvious in like the Rivals of Ixalan, uh, Explorers of Ixalan sets. Like you had all of these, all of these cards featuring women, except none of them looked like girls, which was just, to me, feels like, to me feels like kind of a miss on, kind of a miss on their part, like, I, I don't understand why they made the choice. And, you know, every, everybody, everybody can, you know, get their representation and be happy about it, obviously some women look like that, but, again, it's not, it's not, like, obviously, the average woman is not incredibly attractive and all that stuff, but that's what people want to see whenever they go to see a movie. That's what people want to see whenever they play a card game. That, that's literally the only reason why Force of Will gained all, gained all of that traction, is because the art on it was super evocative, looked, like, looked super good, and there, there's literally a card where, um, there's, there's a card where, it, I think it's called Booty Cat, I'll put an image of that up on screen, hopefully, I guess I really don't get enough views for YouTube's algorithm, I don't, YouTube doesn't recommend my videos to anybody anyway, so it doesn't really matter if YouTube's algorithm decides not to like it, but... You know, this card is worth 150 to $200 just because of the art, and the the issue that i the issue that i really take with magic the gathering is so part part one if you just want to say like none of it's allowed our game cannot have any like spicy or attractive people in the art one that's stupid don't kid yourself like it's not 1993 anymore your average player base is not 11 year olds and even if they were i can tell you most of them have seen a thousand times worse than what you'd see on a magic card that's a side number one. Um, and then kind of just a side number two is then you can't also say, well, women don't get to be attractive in our cards. Only men get to be attractive. Because that is the most just, like, sexist, crappy thing you could possibly say. Like, why, why would you, why would that be the stance that you take? Like, it just, it makes absolutely no logical sense. So... The way, the the very obvious thing that they need to do, and way that they need to do it, is just kind of take a, kind of take a, you know, Force of Will Final Fantasy perspective to it, and just, you know, have, let the artists do what they want, and kind of roll with it. You know, you don't need to, you don't need to try to police what's in the cards. You have plenty of plenty of examples of old cards, um, there's j just really an, just an infinite number of, of old cards that showcase attractive females, and it's just in recent times, it's like people at Wizards of the Coast are doing everything they can to try to, to try to stop that, and it, it doesn't make any logical sense. Like, how are you going to say, I support women, and then say, women can't be, women, women can't be attractive in our card game? Like, it, it makes no sense. It's, uh, it's like the, what's the, cow, Cowboy Bebop. You know, they're, uh, the director for that was like, oh, we need a human to fit in a cosplay, so we had to tone her down. And you get just getting absolutely roasted for it. Like, literally, you know, tens of thousands of just replies of, like, pictures of actual girls who could easily pull off the cosplay. And it's like... It's... It's almost like this dystopian future. I read a, it, I read a book about a similar concept uh, at one point. It's like, everybody... Everybody is supposed to try to get on the same level, and if you're above that level, you're, you know, if you're above that level, you just get ignored, or people try to pull you down, and if you're below that level, people try to, you know, falsely pull you up with, uh, with, you know, dumb stuff. So, I, I think it's just, 
I, I don't understand how you get in this mindset where you just want to pretend like attractive women don't exist and you want to pretend like that's not what people want to see. And again, I want attractive men and attractive women on Magic the Gathering cards. It's not like I'm them and I think it should only go one way. You know, I I think it is I think it's a very fair concession that whenever the game started rolling uh rolling, you know, up until some point, maybe honestly like until they started taking attractive women out of the game, there were probably not as many attractive men. It might just be that I didn't notice it as much. But, you know, I think just like the, the scantily clad women portion of the portion of the artwork probably took up a larger share portion than the scantily clad men. And again, I don't really I I don't care from that perspective, but if I were on the other side, maybe I would care. So that's where I kind of look at it like, you know, I, it should be, you know, we don't need to be, have a tally board and be marking off, you know, oh, there's a guy, there's a girl, you know, we don't need to do something like that, but it should be roughly equal. You know, there should be a roughly equal number of cards that showcase attractive men and attractive women. And unlike what some of the SJWs at Wizards of the Coast think, that number should not be zero. That number should not be 40 men and zero girls. It's not objectifying, it's just appreciating a piece of art. I think at the end of the day, uh, you can look at Wizards of the Coast and you can, uh, you can say that if somehow magically Wizards of the Coast were able to be bought out from under Hasbro by a company in Japan, literally everything they did would get instantly so much better. Um, and that's that's kind of where that's kind of where I'll leave the video because just just seeing stuff like the new Last of Us two, and all all this just absurdity that goes on in the Western uh, the Western media market, it's just if you want to have faith in something and you want to know that the next iteration is still going to be good, just buy stuff that comes out of Japan. Like, Japan by far makes the best media, has the best games companies, they don't let their own sensibilities get in the way of what they're doing, and they don't pander to people who don't buy their product. Anyway, have a good day.